And as we went to break uh, just a few moments ago, you saw all that flooding in Brickell. Good news is for the most part that is now gone. Very hard to believe because we thought we were going to send Bianca Peters out there and that she would be in like knee or waist deep water in some areas. But good news is that for the most part, she's uh, on dry land. There are, is some flooding in some spots, particularly in parking garages. But really what we're seeing is tree debris there, Bianca. Yeah, you know, finally the light coming up and seeing what the damage is here. Uh, you know, we've been out here since early morning, but you could take a look. We're, we're seeing a whole lot more now, especially when we were talking about some of that glass on the floor. Uh, we're going to show you where that glass actually came from, if we can kind of pull around here. Uh, although some of those broken windows looks like they blew out on this tall building here. None of those upper windows, but it's just a right around that area and that glass falling all over the floor here. But again, what is left here of this area of major flooding. It's just a bunch of muck, a bunch of leaves and debris. And we've seen a lot of people out surprisingly riding their bikes, running. We actually found someone that we can talk to real fast and we can interview you. If you don't mind, we can just chat with you for a second. I know I saw you standing there in the corner. Uh, do you live here in the area? Yes, I do. And, and talk to me about your experience waking up this morning. Uh, how, how, are you, how are you feeling? What are you seeing? Well, uh, we were fine during the whole thing, and uh, yesterday I was very surprised when I got out of the house and I saw uh, Jose Leiva, one of our residents in the building, and he was cleaning the um, the, 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 the hose, the, the, so like taking all the leaves out of the way. Our building, it is to, right now, it is totally dry. This man has, and the whole equipment, I like three, four more people from the building. Everybody start helping. The community effort was absolutely wonderful. And look at this, it's dry. It's dry. It's totally dry. It's full of lodo, uh, you yeah. know, but who cares? Yeah, so, yeah. So, so, yeah. So you live in a resident nearby or anything, yeah, experience yeah, any? Front, front, okay. ocean front, ocean front. I have a mother who is 91 years old. I was staying with her, shutters and everything, all supplies, everything taken care of like if we were supposed to be. Did you experience any movement in the building or anything that would cause you to get nervous? Not at all, zero. And this is my second experience. I was with Andrew here and uh, in the building handle without any problem. Thanks God, uh, the manager preparations, the structure of the building, these buildings are very old. So they are really, really strong. So I'm very proud of Miami. We basically got held out of this mess by God. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm glad that you Thank stayed you for, safe. Part of the hey, and you, you heard it from her. You know, you just see a lot of people coming out here, taking a look around, and it could have been so much worse, as, as you guys know, as, as we kind of heard last week. But just assessing the damage, you know, we'll take this. We'll take this any day. Some minor structural damage, a, a lot of trees and leaves on the ground. But again, uh, and the flooding that receded back into the, into the ocean right now. The things that we did see in the morning, there was a few parking garages that we can kind of turn around. And I know you guys heard some of those alarms those are actually still going on right now uh, hopefully we'll be turning off soon but uh, those garages flooded with about five feet of water still right now uh, so I'm imagining how they're gonna get that out because it was in a decline but again the area just kind of assessing this uh, further down a little bit south on here on Brickle Ave a tree that's uh, a big mature tree completely uh, blocking these northbound lanes so I know you guys mentioned that cleanup that that effort that's going to be taking place that needs to happen before you have a lot of people on the streets which I I'm surprised to see a lot of cars, a lot of people driving through the area, videotaping. You got to get stuff like that moved out of the way, and you got to let that happen first before we let people come out here and drive on the road. So, again, we'll take it back to you guys, and hopefully we can give you any more updates on what's happening over here.